Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Lou Salig Investor and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through my investment portfolio as at the end of April 2021. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like and a comment on the video. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. This is not a recommendation. This video should be seen as a source of information and education only. Please seek a regulated financial advisor if you are unsure of any investment. For anyone new around here, let's go through my portfolio details and target allocation. So I started this portfolio back in May 2020 and my benchmark is the FTSE All World Index, which I'm currently trailing by a little bit. Um, I'm currently up 34.8%, whereas the FTSE All World Index is up 43.5%. Um, and yeah, so it's been going for around a year now and let's go through my target allocation, which is on screen now. Um, so yeah, I'm looking to invest in individual stocks, uh, index funds, so world index funds and emerging markets. And then alongside that, I'm looking to invest in Bitcoin, gold, unlisted investments, and my new asset class, which is Forex trading. If you'd like more information on my portfolio, head over, head over to my website, lewisidinginvest.com, uh, and go to my portfolio page on there, and you can look at the graphs and, and, and stuff in more detail. Uh, alternatively, you can subscribe to the Harding Herald, my latest new newsletter, and um, the link is in the bio for that. You'll get that straight into your inbox, uh, and you'll get any portfolio moves straight into your inbox as well. So well worth doing that if you'd like to learn more about the portfolio. So yeah, to be honest, not much has changed from the previous few months, uh, performance-wise. So as you can see from the chat below, uh, Bitcoin, my endless investments and individual stocks are leading the way in terms of my best performers. Um, and then in terms of my assets in the red, uh, that includes gold, my latest uh, Forex, Forex fund and some of the emerging market funds as well. Um, yeah, so not much of a surprise, nothing much has really changed to be totally honest. Like my performance of the portfolio is about 34.8% um, and then the FTSE All World is about 33.5%. Uh, this is this, what, what What's happened here is there was an equity markets rally over the past month or so and yeah, we've reached all time highs now on the S&P 500 so the stock market just keeps bloody going so can't keep up with it. <laughs> um, just one of those things, really. Uh, I'm not too bored about my performance in the short term, but I know you guys are interested in what my portfolio is doing, um, so I like to update you each month. Um, but yeah, Bitcoin's on a, had a bit of a mad one, uh, as have all cryptocurrencies, including Doge and Ethereum. Um, so I'm hoping this continues going into the rest of 2021. Uh, the indiv individual stock picks are looking quite good as well. Um, I only have one in the red at the moment, which is Alibaba, which ironically I'm one of the most bullish on, and I'm looking to add more potentially. Uh, just can't do a few workings. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with my performance. Uh, Bitcoin and unlisted investments are really taking ahead with the gains. Um, but that's the point. I've invested in my assets, um, I've done my research, and yeah, that's basically it. Nothing much else to say than that. Um, so yeah, now moving on to the actual, the juicy bits, so the detailed detailed performance. So looking at the individual stocks. Yeah, looking at my individual stocks in more detail, yeah, everything but Alibaba is in the green, so that's a, pr a pretty good result for me. Um, but like I said, Alibaba I'm really, really bullish on, um, so not quite sure what's going on here. I think investors are still a bit unsure on uh, the antitrust going on, um, which I don't really care about, to be honest. I think they're going to be absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, equities have rallied recently, um, and a lot of it, is to do with the economy reopening and the economic stimulus, which has gone into the markets, just pushing equities really, really high. Um, and yeah, luckily I'm, I am invested. I, I have a small amount of cash now, ready to take advantage of opportunities. I've got a large watch list of around 30 to 40 companies. And like I say, as you can see from my list, I've, about, about half of them I'm invested in. Um, so yeah, I'm always looking for new opportunities, but I've got a good watch list that I'm constantly researching and rejigging, um, looking to take advantage of going forward. Um, but yeah, anyway, so let's move on um, to a few highlights for the portfolio this month, starting with my latest investment in this Forex fund. Yeah, so as you can see from my update, I have got a new asset class and it is Forex trading. Uh, so it's not going to be me actually doing the Forex trading, but I have invested some money into a Forex trading uh, fund, uh, which is with the guys over at IntroFX. Um, I had code on the channel a couple of months ago and I was in conversation with him and some of the other guys um, over in Hull. 
and and yeah, I thought it was the right decision for me to invest with them. Uh, so they're going to trade this money on my on my behalf alongside other investors. Um, so yeah, this is the I, IFX Capital Fund. Um, so I've invested a, a couple of grand into there, and I'm hoping for some good results. Um, like. Forex has always interested me, but I've never really put time and effort into it, mainly because of my nine to five job. Uh, this YouTube channel, I'm being more interested in actual, in the stock market investments really, but I wanted exposure to it because I've seen a lot of people who have learned to trade and are doing it successfully. So I'm just classing this as a separate asset class where big investment banks, big hedge funds, and all sorts of investors trade Forex and other currencies plus other assets. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's just a different bit of diversification. If I can get someone to return me 5% a month, potentially, I'm all right with that. That's a win-win in my opinion. Um, so yeah, like with any investment, it's not guaranteed. Um, Forex isn't a get, get rich quick scheme. It's not all about the Rolexes and your Lambos. Um, it's a genuine asset class where people are, you know, making really good money from it. Um, but the Instagram people who just fl fl flash their you know, fancy Louis Vuitton items all the time and Gucci shoes. It's not about that, it's a genuine asset class. So I'm looking forward to seeing some returns from it. And yeah, the setup looks pretty good for me. If I can return 5% a month on that and compound that over the coming years, it's gonna be a really, really good result. And it's gonna to add to my returns phenomenally, phenomenally, can't spell, can't speak, lol. <laughs> um, Anyway, yeah, so I have invested into his Forex fund and I can't wait to share more about it with you in the future. So yeah, alongside my other assets, uh, this will form a part of my long-term investing strategy and it will let, I will let compound interest work its magic and hopefully see some really, really nice gains. So yeah, apart from that, I didn't add anything else to the portfolio. Um, so yeah, just a Forex fund was added. No more shares, no more index funds were added all this month. Uh, but going forward the next couple of months, I'm looking to add more money from my workplace pension into my future SIP. Alongside adding some another crowdfunding investment uh, in May, which you'll find about uh, in next month's update. Um, and then also looking to add more money into the free trade ISA. Now I'm all settled in at my house. Um, I feel like it's the right time for me to get more money put into there now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this week, this week's, this month's update, I must say. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like more investing content, why don't you subscribe to my newsletter, The Harding Herald, like I just mentioned earlier. Um, this is a weekly investing uh, newsletter where you'll get tons of value. Um, you can either subscribe for free or you can um, go for the paid content, which I'm looking to really, really ramp up. Um, so if you enjoy my content, please you know hit the link in my in the description um, and get added to my email list, and you will not regret it at all. You'll get updates when my YouTube videos are released as well. So yeah, please go ahead and do that. Yeah. Also, as well as that, if you would like um, some free shares, free Bitcoin, and free trials, um, head over to my recommendations page on my website. Um, I've set this up as a bit of a landing page for various different financial products and services that I endorse. Um, so yeah, go ahead and go onto there um, and you know see what you like and go for it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you re if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like and a comment on the video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.